hey guys welcome back i just want to say thank you to everyone who has watched my last video especially to those people who have left me comments a lot of you have said that you can identify and relate to the situations i was talking about in that video that really means a lot to me so thank you so much and if you haven't seen that video i'll link it up here and in the description below so you can watch it and can you guys hear my cat? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I think she wants to be in the video so badly. So, back to our regularly scheduled programming. This video is basically a review of these mystery art supplies that Basic Products sent me. The fun part of this is that I was going in completely blind to what I was getting in the mail. I basically just told them that I enjoyed using watercolors, mixed media things, and that I had a huge eraser collection. And so, you know, I think they really hit the nail on the head with the things they sent me. If you can see here, it was a package of, it had a sketchbook, uh, these liner pens, like fiber tip pens, that are washable that you are seeing me swatch right now these i because they said they are washable i tried watering them down and seeing if you can use them like tumbo markers for example or something like that where you can dilute it and use it like a watercolor but they don't really do that so i wouldn't recommend you use them like that however for what they are meant to do which is work as like pretty thick nibbed markers i really enjoyed them they are water based ink based markers and so you can't really blend very well with them it's not something i would even attempt to try doing but i love the range of colors that they have there's some very bright neon colors and the little fiber tip is super smooth so it glides really well on paper so for me, these would be perfect for like bullet journaling and uh, planning, and especially if you have uh, Hobonichi type papers or Bristol like papers that you get in certain uh, sketchbooks. This sketchbook, let's talk about this sketchbook because <laughs> when I first saw the package, I was like, Oh my god, they sent me a sketchbook. I have a surface to work with. I am good because one of the things that I really wanted to do with this was work with only the supplies that they sent me. And I was able to do that. I did introduce some watercolor paper and one of my own watercolor brushes to test out the watercolors at one point, but I did use the watercolors on this paper as well because I wanted to see what it could handle and what I could throw at it because that's just one of my favorite things to do is to use mediums you're not supposed to in <laughs> certain kinds of papers and see how they react. Uh, as far as the erasers, which is what I was testing here, I tried a rainbow pencil, a two-sided uh, colored pencil, and a graphite pencil very thickly and then try to use the eraser. As you can see here, a lot of the debris was left or the color was left in the colored pencil, the rainbow pencil, and some of the graphite, but I did go pretty hard when I was drawing the hearts. But let's talk about the watercolors and the sketchbook because this is where I was able to let loose, be a child, and just live my life <laughs> freely once again here's the thing when i saw the watercolors and the sketchbook i was like this is the worst combination like the paper's gonna fall apart the watercolors are gonna be chalky i i am scared <laughs> i don't know what's gonna happen because you know i've tried my fair share of non-artist grade student grade or kids grade watercolor paints and let me tell you, I've had some really bad ones, but this is when I was shocked. <laughs> I was trying these out on this paper that, by the way, never broke while I was swatching these pretty hard on them. Uh, it never broke. Only like when I was painting, the last painting I do with them in the sketchbook, did it pass through the paper and get on the next sheet. 
but that was like the only time that happened and I went pretty hard at it. So this sketchbook really surprised me. It's super thin paper that looks like printer paper, but I don't know what it is about the paper that it actually handled the water. It handled the markers not as well because it did pill some, but when I was doing all the actual, not the swatching, but the test sketches and paintings, the paper survived everything. <laughs> I was seriously amazed. Uh, this part here, I am using the watercolor paper like I mentioned before because I really wanted to see how they performed in watercolor paper. And let me tell you, this watercolor is transparent. It's not chalky. It performed super well, even like on wet on wet. I was like, these are kids watercolors. And by the way, the brush is not one of those like crazy, like plastic handled brushes with the hairs on top that are all standing out. <laughs> you know, the ones I'm talking about, right? No, it's, it's actually a wooden handled brush and the tips are very soft. So they, they, it will bend and it's not, it doesn't hold the most water but it's still a better brush that some of these watercolor sets come with. So I was looking on their website and this watercolor set, I believe goes for around $10.99 right now. It does have 48 watercolors in it, which is a huge amount of paints for that price point. And this is not the same palette that you can buy at the dollar store for five dollars for example that's what i expected but they're not you can look at the painting i made here they're actually transparent the brush is pretty decent they have a ton of colors so you don't have to do a lot of pre-mixing and i love the fact that it has a white even though for water coloring most of us we don't use white but I use that white to mix with the other paints and make wash like paint. So basically I just gave it opacity as you can see in the swatches I made. So as far as the watercolors, I think they're a fantastic deal for that price point. I am super happy to have gotten these. I absolutely love them to be honest. I haven't had this much fun painting with my expensive art supplies in a very long time because I'm always scared of ruining things. We're just gonna ignore the fact that I have rejection issues even from my art supplies and move on to these <laughs> felt tip markers. So I was using the sketchbook idea prompt book that you saw to just get over the hurdle of having to figure out what I was going to draw. And I think that's a fantastic tool to have in your arsenal, by the way. Uh, I highly recommend that book and another one by the same author that I will be doing a review of soon. So for the felt tip markers, my favorite thing is that they come in these really bright colors. Like I absolutely love Oprah or neon pink and super bright fluo green and yellow. I think these would be a lot of fun to use if you do bullet journaling and art journaling as well. I'm definitely going to be using them to outline my artwork and also just incorporating them with other mediums. I think they're going to be great to use with the watercolor and maybe some colored pencils. I think that would make for some really fun illustrations. For this next illustration, I used the metallic markers that they sent me and the prompt was a dressed up dog. And so I went with a greyhound because I just think they're funny little guys. <laughs> and so as far as the markers, they're really smooth. They, I expect these to be scratchy, kind of like Sharpies. I don't know, like I get like, I don't really enjoy using Sharpies because to me they feel scratchy. These felt more like oil based markers. I think Sharpie does sell some oil based markers. I think these might be what these are supposed to be. Uh, they are very smooth and they are a lot of fun to use, especially for very loose, sketchy things. Like I didn't do, uh, I didn't draw this with a pencil first. I just went straight in with the markers and had a ton of fun. 
this last illustration is where I thought I was going to kill this sketchbook because this was my ultimate test of what can this paper hold and it held up to all the water I decided to throw at it, the markers, like everything. All it did was warp some, like the paper warped, but it never broke. It never like, just like I never made a hole in it. I only went through like the spot where I did the red swatching, it, the that transferred to the next paper, but that was it. So I was very, very impressed with the sketchbook work because I thought this, you know, this is just not gonna be able to withstand what I'm gonna throw at it. But if there's anything that I want you to take away from this video is that sometimes we just have to let loose and maybe that means for us to get some cheaper art supplies, get some cheaper but decent art supplies that you can enjoy and let loose with and maybe having an idea prompt book or websites where they give you prompts I think that's a fantastic way to get all of these hurdles that sometimes we face when we're painting and just have fun in your sketchbook or in your art. I had a ton of fun with these, all of these illustrations and paintings and I just honestly just want to keep working on my sketchbook. So I think you will see this sketchbook in some of my streams soon. I hope you guys can join in. If you're new here, please subscribe and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!